you've probably been in a house, you might even live in a house where you uh, go to take a shower or something and you turn the hot water on and you wait and wait as gallons and gallons of cool and then lukewarm and finally hot water go down the drain. And this is expensive and it's wasteful and uh, inconvenient. And um, this is because uh, in that particular instance, your water heater is going to be a long way from the point of use. So even though you've got a water pipe going from the water heater to the fixture, it's full of water that's not hot anymore that you have to get out of the pipe before the water that's hot inside the water heater makes its way to the fixture. And uh, so we've got that situation here. The water heater is over here. And the master bath is over here, and particularly the far sink in the master bath. There's a long way to go to get to this sink. And then over here, are the guest baths, the showers for the guest baths. There's two showers. And they take forever because you've got all this piping that starts out hot and then cools down until the next time you use it again. So it's full of, you know, and whatever that is, three quarters of an inch times 40 feet uh, full of water that's now room temperature. And same thing. So let's. Obviously, we're not drawing the cold water supply lines here. Uh, I'm fortunate that I work in different people's houses all the time. I spend a lot of time in people's mechanical rooms, and I get to see some of the some of the ways that their mechanical systems are set up. And uh, a lot of times on a water heater, you will see a little pump and a water pipe. The purpose of that is to recirculate from the point of use at the end of the line back to the fixture to keep the water in the pipes always hot. And uh, so that was what I was intending to put in here. But then I came across a couple of houses where there was the pipe, the recirculating pipe, but there was no pump. Uh, well, you know, you can, you can find out anything on the internet. And I read that there is such a thing as a gravity powered hot water recirculating system. And basically, as close as you can to the point of use, you tee off the hot water line and you come back towards the water heater and you go down to the base of the water heater into where the, the drain spigot is and you provide a check valve. I don't know the schematic symbol for a check valve, but anyway, you get a check valve that only allows the water to flow back towards the heater. And because this water is hotter and this water is cooler and it's going down to the bottom of the heater, that naturally is going to draw more hot water through. And just, it's a very small amount of water, but it, it keeps the water in those pipes hot. So what I've done is taken one line from the master, one line from the guest bath showers, Clipboard would have been smart. And that's what we've got. So up here, we've got your cold supply. Oddly enough, they insulated the cold. They did not insulate the hot. I'm going to go back and insulate it. We've got the hot supply and that comes off here. So this is the hot water pipe going to one shower. This goes to the other shower. And so this is the T that I've just added and the fresh piece of half inch copper that goes back. Of course, living in a ranch with a full basement and a drop ceiling, you can do stuff like this. So here's our pipe here. That comes down. 
Here's our check valve. It's mounted horizontally. It's just got a little brass flap in there and it flaps this way but then it would close off this way. And that allows the water to only move in one direction. And one modification that I've done is I've drilled, uh, I think it was an eighth inch hole in this the flap of this check valve to prevent the water from just locking itself in there because apparently that's that's a phenomenon. It can happen and this thing can just stop moving water through it and then it won't work and if you come down and bang it then it'll start working again but who wants to have to do that so check valve coming down here gotta shut off but what you have to do down here where your drain valve is on the water heater which in this case it was a little plastic nozzle you unscrew that and you use a brass nipple this was a three-quarter brass T uh, down to a male adapter to transition to copper then we put a, a drain valve back in to drain the heater and so this works really well this water coming back to the heater this pipe is warm you can tell that this is circulating and uh, it's working really well what we've done obviously the heater runs a little bit more often you're trading using less water for using more gas everything's a trade-off but uh, the next thing I've got to do is just insulate this piping to stop the heat loss from these hot water pipes. Uh, it's particularly of concern in the summertime. In the winter it's just kind of heating the house. Who cares? But uh, anyway, that's my next project. But yeah, gravity, hot water, recirculating works like a charm.